welcome back. Just a very quick Fred in to Shed 2 video. Picked up this little caliper, they're called like a vernier gauge caliper. And I do have a digital one, that I'm sure most of you have got, you know, cost about 10 quid on eBay. I'll put a little picture up, you know, I've got that in the uh, in the garage. The only trouble with that is I only use it very infrequently. And uh, every time I use it, it seems that the battery's dying and it's flashing. And it's also quite big. So I, I saw this on eBay um, for £1.50 delivered. <laughs> it's sort of made out of a copper brass material and I thought that could be quite handy for when I'm sort of doing little odd jobs. Now I don't know about you guys but uh, you know I'll, I'll look at a nut for example this nut here and I'd think oh you know that looks about 12 mil and I'd come into uh, the shed here I'd grab a 12 mil spanner and it doesn't fit you think, oh, that's a little bit bigger, so uh, it's probably a 13 mil. And it, I don't always get it 100% right, so I thought this would be quite handy just for having in the, uh, it's a fit in the back of my pocket. You can just line that up there, and of course read it off. Um, you know, 13 mil. <laughs> so uh, the amount of times that I spend running backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards to the, you know, to the shed, and then I end up with a, a whole collection of different spanners from doing, doing an odd job which uh, I don't really need. Maybe I'm just crap at guessing stuff, but I'm, to be honest, I am sort of fairly good, but 10 mil, 11 mil, it, uh, it does catch you out. So I thought, well, I'll pick this up. I'm quite impressed with it. It's gonna go just sort of, uh, you know, in the back of my pocket if I'm doing a little job around the house, or even maybe on the car, just for sort of measuring, you know, just for make, getting a very quick, quick, rough measurement of a, a nut or, you know, a bolt, something like that just to sort of save me running around. So I'll leave a link to this in the description. I think it's quite nicely made. I, I, it's amazing how they can produce something like this um, for less than two quid, delivered pound fifty. But I'll leave a link. You might be interested, might want to sort of add something like this to your toolbox. Um, I felt, you know, I've been using it when I've been doing, doing the uh, work on the Volvo and uh, you might find it uh, interesting as well. But you might not. <laughs> you might want, want me to get back to the radio videos. I'm, I'm going to be doing some sort of radio videos. I'm going to go on the, uh, on the 305 net on sort of Fred in the Shed one. But it's a little bit quiet at the moment. Uh, not that much DX coming in. So uh, the radio video is sort of, uh, you know, sort of dropping off a little bit. But anyway, I'll leave a link for this one in the description if you're interested. And just a little sort of video there. So thank you very much. Thank you for tuning in, Fred in the Shed 2. Stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.